Jesus loved me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. The B-I-B-L-E says that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The first book is The Love of God. The love of God is like a hug which makes you feel warm inside. It makes you, it's like a hand always ready to lean, lean, lead you on. The love of God is like a teddy bear, always ready to cheer you up. It's like a gentle tap to help you to go on. The love of God is like a cuddle that brings you out of a sulk. It is like a little arm, the little arms, which can calm down anger. The love of God is like a jump which carries us forward. It is as, as strong as all the love we have known or could hope to know. everybody welcome back to summertime I'm so glad you're here I hope you've had a wonderful week and that you are able to practice some of your super powers some of your superpowers that we've been learning about today we have another new one and it's on honesty honesty I've got my little helper here <laughs> okay honesty means to be truthful in what you say and do. Being honest can be hard, but we're going to learn about a man named Daniel. And he was honest. He was honest to himself. He was honest to others. And he was honest with God. And today's memory verse is creating me a clean heart, O God, renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51 10. You'll notice in our poster that there's an animal too. <laughs> that animal is a lion. And in our story today, Daniel is going to encounter some lions. I want you to listen closely to what happens and how God takes care of him. God is amazing. We have two very special, very, very, very special, I'm so excited about it, special guests that are going to be reading your story to you today. So I want you to pay close attention and listen and watch as Anna and Archer bring you the story of Daniel. Hi. Hi. What are we reading today? We're reading Daniel. Daniel. Okay, let's read it. Long ago, in the land of Babylon, King Darius chose Daniel, the Hebrew, to be his chief counselor. The Babylonian counselors were jealous because the king set Daniel over them. 
So they asked the king to decree for one month no prayers or petition might be offered to anyone except the king. That's not good, is it? No. No. Now, Daniel, who knew that his wisdom came from God, refused to stop offering his daily prayers to God. The counselors saw that their plan had succeeded and went to tell the king. Reluctantly, Darius ordered Daniel's arrest, for he dared not break his own law. You see him praying? Yeah. Is he going to fight him? Nope, he's not going to fight back. The punishment for breaking the king's law was to be cast into a den of lions. The counselor took Daniel and shut him into the den. Your God may be the giver of wisdom, but how can he save you now? The king asked sadly. The door of the cave was sealed until the king, with the king's own seal, and the counselors exalted, for they thought they were rid of Daniel at last. Look at those scary lions. Yep, scary lions. That night, the king's heart was heavy, for he loved Daniel and relied upon his wisdom. Darius passed the sleepless night. With the, last, with the first light of dawn, he arose and went in haste to open the door to the lion's cave. Is he sad? Does he look sad? Yeah. He's so sad. King Darius, may you live forever. Daniel called, do you see? The lions have not harmed me. For I have done no wrong. From that day on, Darius revered the power of God, of Daniel's God. What's this called? That's a lion. With Daniel's help, he ruled the kingdom wisely and well. Daniel lived because God loved him and saved him. The end. Say bye. Bye. All right. So we have several things that are in your packet today. I've already shown you your poster. I do want to remind you and your parents that on the back, you can find the memory verse, our story again, and some questions at the bottom that you and your brother and sister, or you and your mom or uncle or aunt can quiz each other on today's story. That's a good one for review, okay? We also have the story. Every week you get this story in your packet and it has some key words that you can find and then you can review with your family. We have two super fun crafts today. We've got something um, for every age. I'm so excited. Miss Tammy has blown it out of the water today with her crafts. First, how many of you have ever made a cootie catcher? These were my favorite in, I don't know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth grade. So much fun to do with friends. And all the instructions are at the bottom and we'll have somebody in a little bit showing you how to make one of these. They are so much fun. Hours and hours of fun. Okay, oh I forgot, we have three crafts today. Um, next, you can make yourself a, a just a cute, solid bookmark. We've got our honesty um, memory verse here with our picture of Daniel and the lion, and then you should find a piece of cardstock. And there's two holes. You match up the holes, glue it on there, and then there's a string in your baggie. This baggie, there's a little white string. You can tie it in there, you can color this, and you can put it in your Bible or favorite book, and then you'll have the memory verse there for you. And finally, we have a third craft that Miss Tammy got pulled together for us. Now there's a little slip of paper that explains to you how to do this, and we'll have someone showing you how to do that in just a little bit. It comes with a paper bag, and you are going to make your very own googly-eyed <sighs> lion. How much fun is that? This is super, super cool. And then you can make, you can redo the story of Daniel and the lion's den with your googly-eyed lion. I know that you're gonna have so much fun today and so many hours of fun just enjoying these crafts. So thank you, Miss Tammy, for putting these together. And kids, I hope that when you see her, you tell her thank you very much.
we're gonna be making a cootie catcher and I have colored the lines. You can color any part of it you want or just not color it. And then I cut it the I cut it out so that it's a square, but you only cut on the outer edges, not the inside because those lines you're gonna fold. And then here at the bottom, it tells you instructions, or you can just follow along with me. So let's get started. So first what you're gonna do is you're going to fold it in half backwards on this line going in the middle. Like this, so that it looks like that. Mm. Then, why am I even looking at this? Then, unfold it, and then fold it in half the other way, like this, and crease. And then when you come out, it's, there's in four pieces. Then, you're going to fold it again, but you're going to fold the corner pieces downwards. So you're going to fold them in to themselves, like that. And you're going to do that to all four of them. So now they look like that, a little bit weird. Then fold it in, I believe. Wait, no. Then you fold it. So you grab these. See how there's a little bit of a triangle here? So there's these and then this triangle. You're gonna fold the triangle back like this and then do it to all of them, the same thing. And some of them have numbers and some of them have spikes. So it's like this. Then you're going to fold it in together like this, which you can do it either way. Then crease it, then fold it back out like this, and then fold it the other way down. Then you're going to slip your fingers in, and it should be real flat, so pop those up so that they're not as flat. And do that to all of them. And it might take a moment. Try and get them not as flat. Then put your thumbs and your middle finger, not your middle fingers, your pointer finger in them, and then fluff it in the middle and put them together. All right, and then, now that they're together, it will look all jumbled up and awful. So then you'll need to fix it. Just fluff it up, move it together, and do whatever you need to make, make it all nice. And then, it should come out something like that. Okay, so Lucy and me are going to play it. So what I did is I numbered them on the ends here. I got one, four, three, and two. I said those out of order. And then on these grass ones here, I also put numbers so that if you get that, if you land on that, you can get the, you can have numbers. All right, you ready? Yeah. So what she's gonna do is she's going to pick a lion, one, two, three, or four. So pick one. Um. What is this 
That one's four. Four. Four? Okay, so she chose number four. I think that one. Yeah. Number four. So I go one, two, three, four. So she got these, and there is seven, five, ten, and eight. So then she chooses one. Seven, five, ten, or eight. Come on over here. Um, eight. Eight. So then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, then choose another seven, five, eight, or ten. Um, I'm gonna choose a seven. So she chose seven. So now since it's the second time, you open it up so that it's like this, and then you open up the number seven, or whatever number you it, you chose, and then you only read the triangle, so this was seven and this one's five, and they have different things here, and I only read this one instead of this one because this one's number five. And it says, the spirit God gave us is not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Second Timothy 1, 7. So that's how you make a cootie catcher. So Lucy is going to do the lion puppet bag thing with me. So she's got her stuff here. Put the eye down. So you've got a bag with two eyes, a button, and a whole bunch of orange stripes. So what you're gonna do is open up your bag and you're gonna pull out your button and eyeballs. So the button is going to be the nose and then the eyes are gonna be eyes. So you're gonna flip the bag so that it's like this where the bottom part, you know, like where the bag is like this, the bottom part is where you're going to glue your eyes and nose. You gonna do that? Yeah. So, let's draw on the face. Okay, so now it looks sort of like a mouse, since it's just a nose and eyes. So what I did is I made black, so that it's like the lips or something, and then I made inside like the tongue and stuff, so that it can go like this. Ah. Oh. So that it can go like this. Hello. I've got a nice tongue. And I made mine so, like, when I'm just doing it like this, they can see the tongue. You guys can see the tongue. And, like, okay. I'm doing this. So now we've got these orange strips left over. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue them around so it's like the lion's mane. So let's do that. Here's our lions! So now you can act out Daniel and Lion's Den. Everyone, I hope that you had a wonderful time with summertime, that you listened to the story of Daniel, and that you will go out this week and practice the superpower of honesty. It's not always easy, but I know that you can do it. Mm -hmm. Let's have a quick prayer. Lucy, will you pray with us? Okay. Dear Lord, thankful, thank, thank you for this day. 
thing for this whole world, and for the hospital and nurses and everyone that works there. And thank you for the people who are working on the cure for this. In his name, amen. Amen. Bye. We'll see you all next week.